Have you ever been a victim of fake news? Or worse, become a propagator, whether with or without the intentions? Well, worry no more because we will overcome it and actually do something about it. Along with the spread of coronavirus disease 2019 or COVID-19 across the world, comes also the outbreak of misleading and false information, which the World Health Organization calls an infodemic. Hey there and welcome back to school. I am Sir Save from Banisilan National High School, Cotabato Province Division. And today, we won't only be learning how to break the chains of misinformation, but also we will be learning how to use information effectively. Maybe from news reports, speeches, informative talks, panel discussions, and other media forums. Especially that we're in a difficult time of our lives. Aww. So, in this era of information disorder, many factors have brought us to a point where we can no longer believe everything we hear, read, or simply see. From sensational or clickbait headlines to manipulated photographs, these are just too good to be true. And take note, with the availability and easy access of social media platforms nowadays, these can circulate and spread like wildfire. So, rather than letting ourselves fall for these lies, tricks, and chaos, why not stay skeptical of everything? Hmm, is here said and done, right? But. How do we really integrate the information from sources into our knowledge base and communicate it with others effectively? Well, before proceeding to our discussion, let us have first a brain teaser. Are you ready? I hope you are. So here it is. A rooster is on the roof of a barn facing east. The wind is blowing west at 10 miles per hour. The rooster lays an egg. Now, which direction does the egg grow? Think it over. The answer? There is no egg. The rooster didn't lay one because roosters are male. First, it's easy to overlook details or accept them without questioning. In this brain teaser, the answer could be found in the second word, rooster. In hindsight, we realize it's impossible for roosters to lay eggs, but it's easy to overlook when it's mentioned casually in the brain teaser. Another process at work in this brain teaser is misdirection. There were several details included that we may have paid too much attention to. The fact that the rooster is facing east and that the wind is blowing west at 10 miles per hour, in the end, these details had nothing to do with the actual answer. But because they seemed important in the context of the brain teaser, they directed us away from the relevant information. The same technique used to solve brain teasers can also be applied to real-world situations. When you're trying to figure something out, it's important to analyze the information that's available to you. Are there any key details I may be missing? Am I being misled by something? Could I be thinking about this in another way? Analysis is just one of the many ways you can do to improve your critical thinking skills which is by far both crucial and essential in utilizing the information that surrounds you. And that ends the first portion of the first topic for this quarter. Hope to see you in the next episode. Keep safe everyone!